Today we're gonna turn this into this into this. Hey guys, welcome to Outpost Pottery. I'm MJ Perry. Today we're talking about making bucket molds. Now this is the easiest way that I've found so far to make one part molds. And why do we call it a bucket mold? Because really any bucket that has a lid from a five gallon bucket all the way down to, this is not a bucket, but a disposable coffee cup that you could get at any gas station. This can work for a bucket mold too. Now the requirements for a bucket mold is the lid has to fasten tight. I'm going to need some tape. I'm going to need uh, something sharp to cut. And I'm going to need a little bit of clay. So step one is I'm going to cut the base out of this coffee cup. Step two is I'm going to tape this lid hole right here where you drink out of. Tape that shut. And then step three is I'm going to fill the base of this, not up to where the lip is, where it's going to grip the cup, but up until then, um, somewhere below that line right there, I'm going to fill that with clay and make it real smooth. So let's do that. Okay, so now I have my base, uh, what will be the base, which was the lid, now it's the base, and I have this that can fit snugly on. Next, I'm going to show you, so this is the form we're going to cast. This is a little glass shot glass that I got from Amazon. This is actually the main form that I base my, all my uh, mini succulent pots, my shot glasses, mini candles, all those come off of this shape. So the first thing we need to do with this, because if this is upside down, when we are casting the mold, this is going to float on up, or at least it'll, it'll open up enough to let plaster in there. So I need to fill this with something. We make a lot of candles at Outpost Pottery, so I just fill this with wax. I'm going to do that right now, just fill this with wax. You can fill it with anything. Sometimes if I'm not worried about destroying the form, I'll fill it with plast uh, plaster. Sometimes I fill it with concrete. Sometimes I throw wet forms, uh, greenware, on the, on the wheel, and I'll just fill that with plaster. I won't even fire it. It's still greenware. It's still maybe been off the wheel for 20 minutes, and I'll fill it with um, plaster and make it hard and then cast that. So I'm going to go fill this with wax and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a shot glass that's filled up with wax now. And again, that's just so the air bubble doesn't force the form up and let the plaster underneath the form. So I'm just going to make sure this is stuck to the, uh, just press it really lightly in there and make sure it's got kind of a good seal there. And so basically the idea now is one, we're going to spray this with mold release. I'm trying some new mold release today. I haven't tried this stuff before. Uh, it's called Apple Mold Release. It was a lot cheaper than the other one that I used. I'll put all the ones that I've used in the links below, but we'll see how this one performs. Uh, but basically, I'm going to cover. I'm going to spray this down outside the garage with mold release, and then I'm going to put this. And I'm, I may or may not spray this because this is disposable. I might just. I'm going to rip this off the edge afterward. So and then that just locks in place, and then we'll pour the plaster. So I'll go mix up the plaster. And I'll show you that, and then we will pour this guy. Okay, I just mixed this up. Generally, once the plaster's in water, you're okay. You don't have to wear the mask and stuff. Um, just like clay, when it's when it's wet, like this, no big deal. When it gets to be dry, is when you don't want to be inhaling it. So, I'm gonna let this sit for 10, 15 minutes. Uh, you'll see the clock right here, and uh, we'll check it here in a minute. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. The fewer air bubbles, the better. 
Uh, we've been waiting a few minutes, maybe 30 minutes since I poured this. You see that comes right off. I like to take a, a knife and just kind of trace the outline here and get any excess that might have gotten under the corner there just a little bit. And then you just pull this out. I like to use a, because I use wax in here, I will stick this in. Sometimes it takes a little bit of working. There we go. Comes right out. There's our mold. I'm just gonna tear this off because I'm not gonna reuse it. And that is our mold. So next I would just take this little shear form and just kind of clean up the edges while it's still a little bit. Okay guys, that's all there is to it. I got a carbon copy of this shot glass. Now I'm gonna need to wait maybe three, four, five days. I'll put this out in the sun, let it sit, and uh, it'll dry out and then you'll be able to pour. I'll be able to pour slip in, wait a few minutes, pour slip out, wait a few minutes, and have a uh, ceramic replica of this. Now remember that your replica will be smaller after it finishes firing. When it comes out, as greenware, it'll be exactly like this, but as the water comes out, it's going to shrink, you know, as much 10, between 10, 13 percent ish. Incidentally, these are the exact same forms that I use to make my mini candles, my mini succulent pots, and my shot glasses. If you like them, you can head on over to Amazon, pick one up, and don't forget to leave us a good review. Hey guys, if you like this demo and you want to learn more about slip casting or mold making, you can check out my course on the subject also in the links below. I'm MJ Perry, thanks for watching and keep on learning.